In September of 2020, Ivalice and Thunder Rosa took each other on in a match on AEW Dynamite for the NWA Women's World Championship. Ivalice had been signed to AEW following winning the AEW Women's Tag Team Cup, and Thunder Rosa was brought into AEW in a working agreement with the NWA. Both women are good workers, and it looked like we were in for what should be a decent match. But as this match went on, it was apparent to fans watching at home that something was clearly up. Something either wasn't clicking between the two, or the two just weren't cooperating whatsoever, and throughout the match, we would see Ivalice no-selling and sandbagging Thunder Rosa's offense, and Thunder Rosa, as a result, started hitting harder, and the match just descended into chaos. Ivalice got into trouble backstage because of this, and once again, all this started from Ivalice being accused of sandbagging. Sandbagging is defined in wrestling terminology as not cooperating with your opponent, and essentially acting as dead weight and making it harder for your opponent to pull moves off on you. In April 2021, Ivalice departed from AEW and would end up having a lot to say regarding the incident with Thunder Rosa. She spoke about it in a September 2021 interview with Chris Van Vliet, where she detailed her feud with Thunder Rosa and the incident. Yeah, Is this a personal issue with Thunder Rosa or is this just a business disagreement? Uh... It's a culmination of a lot of things from her part uh, in the past. It all started in the past in the underground. Um, this literally the exact same thing uh, that happened in the match happened in Lucha Underground. I thought that was learned because when we, we encountered again in the Indies, um, because in Lucha Underground, it was Cobra Moon. In, um, in the Indies, it was... Uh, like as herself that in that match she didn't do any of that so i was like okay so i, I thought in my mind okay what well, but then that match happened outside and i didn't feel like it it happened again like the same thing in in lucha underground in the match so i was like okay so maybe maybe she did learn like from and and it didn't uh and it's just like an outside the ring thing so i was like okay cool whatever i don't but then it becomes, and never in my wildest dreams, never in my wildest dreams would I ever think that that would happen. Um, and it did. <laughs> but uh, I think that, uh, I don't know why it didn't occur to me that maybe because she was champ, maybe that gave her a little bit more liquid courage, <laughs> as you would say, for, like, to go back to that. But that... So as you might have heard, Ivalice mentioned that the feud between herself and Thunder Rosa actually rooted all the way back to Lucha Underground, where they supposedly had a match there. I did some digging, obviously, and the match in question took place on the Season 2 Episode 11 of Lucha Underground, and Thunder Rosa was going by the name of Cobra Moon, herself and Ivalice going one-on-one. -on -one. And whilst I was watching this match, I wasn't really able to notice any glaring issues between the two in the match, other than maybe a couple of moments where they hit each other a little harder and some spots looked a bit forced and dragged through and Ivalice looked a little frustrated but overall there was nothing really noticeable and if anything this match was actually pretty good. It's matches like these why I thought their one in AEW would be of quality but maybe we can just put it down to the fact that it's edited and Lucha Underground might have just done a good job to hide any issues between Rosa and Ivalice in this match because even during the commentary of this match they're talking about how this has been an ugly fight for a match and things like that, hinting that something could have possibly happened, but personally, I didn't see anything. But regardless, that was kind of the end of it between Thunder Rosa and Eva Lease. Or was it? Because in June of 2022, Thunder Rosa herself got caught up when she herself was accused of sandbagging. On the June 8th, 2022 episode of AEW Dynamite, Thunder Rosa defended her AEW Women's World Championship against Marina Shafir. And during this match, fans would take notice of some moments that took place, some strange moments, such as Thunder Rosa failing to follow through on a suplex and refusing to be thrown out of the corner by Marina thus leading to her being accused of sandbagging. And it wasn't just fans that were making these accusations against Thunder Rosa, it was wrestlers backstage as well. A tweet that read, It's been a long time since I've seen a match where somebody so obviously tried to make themselves look better than their opponent by sandbagging and no-selling. But I just saw a perfect example of it on Dynamite, a tweet that was posted following the match between Thunder Rosa and Marina Shafir, which was liked by both Dr. Britt Baker 
and Marina Shafir herself. And of course, Eva Lise took to Twitter to take her victory lap around Thunder Rosa, tweeting, I truly wholeheartedly appreciate all the recent Eva Lise was right statements. Hits the soul in ways you can never imagine. Thunder Rosa would respond to the criticism in an interview with the New York Post about a week later, saying the following, I have nothing to say. Like I said, I just have blessings to everyone, to every single person. I'm focusing on what is in front of me, and I'm focusing on making the division better as much as possible. Whatever's in my hands, that's all I have to say. I don't like to get into these comments, I respect my opponents all the time. Thunder Rosa and Marina Shafir were able to put their issues behind them when a week later on the Dynamite after the incident took place, the two reconciled backstage and Thunder Rosa posted pictures of the two on Twitter with the caption reading, Today we take responsibility and work on being better, because at the end of the day, we break bread. Two mothers navigating a world in where we both never-ending learners. And there was also a Thunder Rosa sandbagging shirt made, which she came out on Dynamite wearing herself. Way to own the incident, I guess. But as for Thunder Rosa and Britt Baker's problems between each other, well, that's a whole story for an entirely different video.